Hi everyone, it's Lisa Romanovich McManus coming to you live. Um, I just wanted to do a beautiful series on the various types of the integral human design system. And today we will be looking at the generator as well as the manifesting generator. We're gonna to try to do a deep dive to help further explain what is the best way to, for them to live. And also if you are in connection and in relation to either a generator or a manifesting generator, what is the best way for you to support and relate to them in the world? So let's first look at generators, okay? You know what, before we even go in, I want to let everyone know that I have Reiki infused this beautiful time together. So feel supported and feel that I'm holding a space for you. Okay, let's go back to the generator. Hmm. Now the generator is 37% of the population. And when you lump that in with the manifesting generators, you're talking about 70% of the population. It's really important to note that because the world itself is created for your design. It's actually created to support and organize around you, which is like such an added bonus, right? So it's very important to make sure that we're aware of those things. Um, generators have wonderful strengths. Their strengths are that they are very um, energetic. They are masters, masters of their work, and they are very astutely self-aware. They are challenged um, by being frustrated, right? And maybe quitting a little too soon before the fruition of their work happens. And they're often just, they feel stuck when they're not able to make things happen, right? So the generator has a defined sacral, but no connection to the throat. There's no tie there. So that their strategy is actually to wait to respond. So a generator's strategy is to wait to respond. And the emotional theme that can be kind of um, present if they're not living that strategy is frustration. And frustration can kind of be that little corrosive thread that runs through your life that once you have looked at and you're aware of can suddenly become that beautiful mala beads of understanding and healing throughout your life. The you guys all have tremendous amounts of energy. You are designed to work. However, the problem is finding the right work and the right opportunities for you to feel happy. That is crucial for a generator. Generators are often frustrated when they're not finding the right work and they're not finding the right expression for their life energy. So the key for a generator is to sit back and get really curious, like, hmm, how fascinating, right? And find an understanding of their energy in order to attract what they can respond to. It's a very, very interesting aura. They have a great life when they let life show up for them, right? Let life show up for you as a generator and try not to make life happen. Try not to fix, do, go, 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 go. That's the job of a manifester. <clears throat> There's a beauty for you in waiting to respond. For a generator, it's very, very important then to set an intention. You can set an intention and then just wait for the evidence of reality to come to you that you can then take action based upon. So the greatest of your fears is that you can't do it. You're not a human doer. And what if we wait and nothing happens and then I'm just gonna be twiddling my thumbs, right? However, that fear is honestly 
false evidence appearing real. Fear, F-E-A-R, false evidence appearing real. Because if you have patience, um, it will it will happen. Um, when you wait, what needs to be done will show up for you to respond to. So the generator strategy is to wait to respond and your strength is to follow through, right? Rather than initiate. So generators, when you feel stuck or you're trapped in a job, you have that internal knowing to know. And when it doesn't feel good, honestly, look for a better opportunity. Know thyself is a beautiful power of the generator, right? They are so clear on responding to an internal yes or no within themselves. If you're a generator or in relation to a generator, it's very supportive to ask a series of yes or no questions about a situation in which you're wrestling with. So you actually have a sound of uh-huh, uh-uh. And you can feel that sound deep within you. Um, it's very supportive of you to make decisions based upon that internal yes or no. Um, for example, say if you're moving, if you're moving, ask yourself a series of yes or no questions. Rent, own, town, city, coast, inland. And you will actually have that superpower of inner knowing that will really support you to make a better decision, right? My husband is a generator and he loves pro-con lists, which is another way of an internal yes or no. So it helps him to attune to his inner knowing in that rhythm of flow. Attempting to talk through something with him in terms of helping him to guide himself is not a good way. That is not the strategy for generators and I myself am imposing that upon them and I'm sure many of us do accidentally. So that is where it is crucial to really be supportive with that internal yes or no system built in for a generator. And please, please love yourselves. Be gentle, be generous, be friends with yourselves. As generators, always know that it is a learning curve and frustration will just be a natural part of the process. Generators evolution will resemble very much almost a staircase. So you'll really learn and you'll master and then you hit a plateau and then you're going to learn and you're going to master all over again. It's a beautiful, beautiful process for you. So never quit before it's too, it has happened. Um, don't be too frustrated and quit before you've actually um, been able to see things to a fruition. So it's very interesting and, and important for you to listen to your inner knowing of that sacral center and that yes, no that you'll receive is correct. So with regards to your health, um, let me tap into that a little bit. Hmm. You can wear yourself out if you don't rest at the end of the day. So really spend some time to rest prior to going to sleep. And then you can really regenerate. You're actually good nappers. Generators are, are types that can really take a nap, which is unbelievable. But it's a way for them to just stop the overload and to then regenerate. Um, so I would just suggest really taking nice naps, nice sleeps. Um, trust your gut completely. Tune into that inner voice that you have that's of superpower and really respond to the yes or no's. Um, so that's great. So that is basically the generator. Now let's take a breath and let's just look into a manifesting generator. The manifesting generator is about 33% of the population and combining it with the generator is about 70% of us. So you also have pretty much the world designed for your strategy. 
Um, and it's very important for you to understand your type as well as the other types because for you, for especially for the manifesting generator, it is very important for them to have an understanding of what their type is and how it's different from the other types. You have a beautiful strength of being extremely energetic. You have the ability to do many things at once. The only type that can successfully multitask. You are extremely self-aware and you have a tremendous, tremendous amount of sustainable energy. So the challenge for a manifesting generator is that they often skip steps. They speed ahead and they miss the benchmarks, right? Um, and it's really a little hard for them to just like make things happen and at the same time wait for the other types to catch up and kind of get a clue in their minds. So sometimes they start things and they don't finish them. Um, this can leave them with both the emotional themes of anger as well as frustration. Um, frustration more from the generator, anger from the manifester. So the manifesting generator itself has a defined sacral and it has a connection to the throat. So you get the hybrid best of both worlds from the manifester as well as the generator. The generator has the sacral, the manifester has a connection to the throat. Um, it's very important for a manifesting generator that when they're multitasking, it's usually a little bit of a cover-up. <laughs> it's important for them to initiate, but when you initiate several projects, you got so many balls in the air, it's hard to have the organizational structure to keep them all going and not drop the ball anywhere. So for others who view a manifesting generator in the wrong way, it can look like they're all over the place. It can look like, oh my gosh, they all have ADHD. And it can also look like they're really not invested in you because they're just going so fast. Um, the internal strategy for a manifesting generator is to visualize as well as inform to respond. So visualization is like, try on the ideas in your imagination, really get creative in your imagination first and visualize the outcome, okay? When you visualize the outcome, you can actually wait to respond taking action. So the challenge arises when you think that you're a pure manifester and you can create, 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 and that gets you angry. And then you think you're a pure generator and you can do, 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 and you can't, so that makes you a little frustrated. So those are kind of the little things to evolve out of and work with, with your shadows and your inner work. The second part of your strategy comes from informing others, and this will save you so many hassles, so much trauma drama comes for the manifesting generator when they don't inform others of what they're doing. That helps you to stabilize your energy like unbelievable. The manifesting generator who they're responding with the generator part, they can get very busy doing nothing. <laughs> and that can actually lead to procrastination. So be a little careful of that part. Um, you need to see that you respond so quickly and you might skip some steps that you have to go back and fix. And it's actually the other types that can help you to like almost um, grow your patience and slow down a little bit. For my, I have, all my sons are manifesting generators. And in particular, I have one son who's like phenomenal with technology stuff. And he goes so fast and so quickly for me, and I just sit there and I say, wait, 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 can you teach me? Can you show me the steps? And that's very helpful for a manifesting generator because it helps them to just identify to wait a little bit. 
Um, I often use the great example of the TGV, which is a fast train in France that will go 200 miles an hour and from the top of the fran France to the bottom. Um, and then the <laughs> that's like the manifesting generator. And the other types are all at the stops that a normal slower train would, would stop at. And they're just waiting for a pause for the manifesting generator to let them on, have a chat, interact, and then go forward. So as long as a manifesting generator informs everybody that, okay, maybe I'm not gonna stop right now, but I see you and this is what I'm doing and can you help me do this? It is so supportive for them. Um, you know, and others should really not be judgmental. Other people should not be critical of the manifesting generator because they are, unlike most people, they can do so much and they can do it much quicker than anyone else. So the key is in responding and making sure that you do enough. If you're not doing enough, you can feel stuck and trapped. So allow the patients to move in a sustainable way so your energy can really flow and not get any, not get trapped anywhere, right? So otherwise you feel like you're a bolt of lightning and you're like stuck in this lightning jar, this glass jar, and you're just going So you wanna just be able to um, to express your energy. So that's basically the, the skinny about a manifesting generator. You have incredible, big creative ideas and you just need to wait so that when things don't work out as expected, you are not moving so quickly and you can literally put out the fires along the way and you can make sure that the steps to the fruition of, of, of what you wanna do is actually completed um, so that you flow with your design and you don't prevent, you prevent like any energetic meltdowns that go on. Um, in this sense, self-care is very important. I would honestly recommend doing um, salt baths and doing earth walking, anything that's grounding, meditating, that can help to provide those little pauses throughout your day um, that will really just be supportive to you. So I hope this was extremely helpful for the manifestors. I'm sorry, for the generators, excuse me, the generators and the manifesting generators. I'm ahead of myself because my next in the series will be to discuss the manifestors and the reflectors. And my final episode in this series will be on projectors. Projectors need their own time because they actually have subtypes. They're the only type that has three different subtypes. So I just want to get an in with a lot of depth and weight there for everybody. Um, and I hope that even if you may not be a generator and a manifesting generator, that you get something out of this because I will, without a doubt, know you have a parent, a sibling, a coworker, um, someone that you connect with, with business in any fashion that you'll be more supportive to relate to. So I hope you enjoyed this and I'm trying to keep it to about 18, 20 minutes and I did, woo, that's good for me. Enjoy your day, namaste, bye now.